Chicken chung, chicken chung, chicken chung. They're two sales dudes from a cloud voice company, but with a super power that you wouldn't believe. Monday mornings they transform into some dope co hosts with sports pranks and, and jokes. It's business breakfast and banter, just try and hold back your laughter. Cause it's some really funny spit out your coffee kind of quick wit. So grab a pop tart and let the work week start. Momentum Mondays, yeah, with Chuck and Sean. Chuck and Sean. Momentum Mondays, yeah, with Chuck and Sean. Chuck and Sean. Chuck and Sean. Chuck and Sean. This episode of Momentum Mondays is brought to you by Polly. Control the conversation with confidence. Welcome back to Momentum Mondays, episode number six. Happy Monday, Chuck. Yeah, good morning. How you doing? I'm fantastic, man. Great weekend here in Louisville. I bet. What happened? Nothing. Just a great week. No, the <laughs> Kentucky <laughs> Derby, man. You've been here for 20 years. You've been gone that long. I know. It's only been six months. Did Has you win? Six, really? Six yeah. months? November. Well, yeah, six months. What'd you do with all of those outfits that you had? I mean, we had some exciting uh, exciting times, exciting picks. I know that you went to quite a few of them, didn't you? Uh, over the years, went to several derbies, some Oaks, some Thurbies, even some Wednesdays. I don't know if there's a name for that yet, but yes. <laughs> Thur Thurby, not Thursdays. Yeah, that's Thurby. the day. Yeah, Thurby. Thurby. Yeah. Thurby is the day before Friday, and it's technically Thursday, but the locals use that as their their derby. So yeah, it's Thurby. Thurby. I think we actually have some picks of them. So maybe if we can get Dave to show us some of the picks of when you and I attended them, because as you know, like anything goes at the Kentucky Derby, the outfits, the ambiance. It's it's Hats. all about the what? Look at the that. The hats, there we are. I mean, pink shirt, blue jacket, new hats. There you are. I think trying to avoid the sun looks like, you know, we'll show some pictures here of us being able to meet some friends. At one point, I think we even attended a local event with one of the local teams here in uh, Louisville. They hosted the event, Virtual Telecom. Yep. And there then, they are. Yeah, there's Virtual. The, I think that was a that was actually right on the backside, or actually the infield looking at the grandstands. There we are with our friend Wes Harris, man. That, now that's a jacket. That Look at is that a jacket. jacket. You can anything goes though at the Derby. Anything. Anything goes. But I'll tell you what, you left at this point, and I couldn't find you, and I had to go backstage. <laughs> <laughs> and I found you at the buffet. What were you doing, man? I'm having a piece of chocolate cake. What do you think I'm doing? By the way, where's the Jimmy's? Where's the Jimmy's at? There's probably Jimmy's on there. It's on the side though, because that's the side of the cake. So it's you know on the top. Listen, yeah, I think I found some Jimmy. other photos of you and at the Derby. And so there's one of you at the Derby. No, <laughs> that's Christmas, Sean. That's my Christmas suit. <laughs> that's Christmas a Christmas suit. outfit. Okay, maybe this one is you at the Derby. I couldn't determine. Like you've had so many different. <laughs> that is not. A derby outfit, although I bet you I get on TV if I wore that outfit to the derby. <laughs> I mean, that's but, my Halloween costume. Buddy the Elf, was, all grown up. Buddy the Look Elf. at that hair. Look at that which, beard. By the way, what's your favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> but it's all about the hats, right? It's all I mean, about the hats. It's oh, all about you, the hats. You, the you, ben, you, you wear the, the derby hats, don't you? Well, you know, maybe a fedora or something. I don't, I don't really pull off that. No, thing. I think we have uh, some other pictures of uh, something other than a fedora. Well, I mean, you got to take on the theme. So you take on the theme and then, of course, yeah. Yeah, there's your hat. There's your hat. That was before the race. I know you were kind of sitting in the back, so you didn't block anyone's view. Yeah, that was the Mexican sombrero. So, yeah, yeah. it's all about the hat. See, again, anything goes at the Kentucky Derby. And what the heck? Sean? <laughs> Sean, <laughs> let's talk about this picture a little bit further. What? Why this, do we this have this our up? This was our Gold Club 2020 in March, right before everything was really locked down. And Sean claims he was not posing. He didn't know he was taking a picture yet. He's holding his shirt perfectly, looking past the camera. He's got his hat on backwards. He could be in an Adidas catalog. Look at that. A beautiful picture. We're supposed to be talking about Derby. Out. It's a beautiful picture, though. But, but Sean, come on. Really? You didn't know he was taking your uh. picture? All day I dream about Sean. That's what the acronym Adidas stands for. But really, way. let's ask the question. Did you really not know he was taking <laughs> a picture of you? Let's, let's No, I mean, with Jack, this crowd, is natural for me. I, that's how I always do. Out of about six, of, six, six people watching right now, your wife, my wife, your couple kids, my couple kids, maybe there's eight people watching. 
All right. So honesty is in, is the integrity here. So, well, listen, how fun was that last You didn't week? answer my question. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't answer my question. I'm not going to answer. Because you know he's taking your picture. Chuck, off camera between you and I, I'll give you the real answer. But the answer okay. on camera, no. It was Sean, there's no way someone poses with their hands holding the shirt down, looking off into the distance. You didn't know he was taking your picture. All right. It's okay if you knew he was taking your picture. <laughs> What do you want me to say? Okay, fine. Yes. I knew he was taking the picture. <laughs> That's a quiet moment with just him and I on that boat at the time. Everybody else was out in the That's water. Right. That's right. It was a little dingy, but who cares? <laughs> a dingy. Oh, well, listen, I was uh, a good time at the Kentucky Derby. I did not attend the actual Derby, but last week I did attend a, a, an event one of the local partners here had. You guys saw some of the outfits, but it, you know, it was a great time here in Louisville. And uh, man, I'll tell you, as I said before, you got to kind of really do your homework on how you want to bet that race. But Chuck, there was one that really came out midnight bourbon. Of um, course. I thought of you. So at least I put some money down on that one. There you go. Hey, midnight bourbon. Can't beat it. What'd you think about Colin Scott last week? Let's switch gears. We had a hostile takeover last week where Colin Scott and Bill Sean, Gersky. What? Sean, it, was a, it was a wholesale takeover. <laughs> Not a hostile takeover. Wholesale. We're going to go through that from last week as well, well, two weeks ago when you asked me about, uh, forget yeah. we talked about dialogue and, and dialect. Dialogue, dialogue and dialect, I, you know, oh, we'll hostile, get wholesale. We'll get into some dialect here in a minute. Our our next guest is is a big fan of your chicken palm. So we'll talk about that here in a minute. <laughs> but Bill Gursky, I mean, was that not an extraordinary gentleman? Like it, <clears throat> he said, he what did he say? Like moved from Ireland? Uh, to Vegas, owned a casino and a nightclub. Then he moved to back to Pennsylvania to get back into telecom. I mean, it's a little bit different than our guest and her trajectory, but I mean, th that was a pretty interesting guest. Very interesting. Really interesting. Colin did a fantastic job as well. Thank you, Colin. All right, Colin, next time, <clears throat> this is a shout out. We want to be on your show with you. So we'll, uh, we'll help bring some color to it. All right. All right. Great John, to meet our next have, guest. Yes. Who do we have on the docket for today? The what? Docket. Yeah. What, what's a docket? I, I didn't say docking. That was an 80s band. I know you like them. Docket. What's, go ahead. But what's a docket? Oh, my God. Here we go again with dialect. Last <laughs> or the week before, it was Bubla or Water Fountain, and it was Jimmy's or Sprinkles. Now I got to go Google docket. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. Now, this yet this next guest um, hails from the great state of Colorado. I mean, it's kind of interesting, Chuck. Her background. I mean, prior prior to getting into telecom, she was, and I was just informed, still a member of the Barnum and Bailey Circus. You know, she actually trained bears to stand on a ball and juggle, and the only way she could do that is to actually do it herself. So apparently she's mastered a talent and an art that we haven't done yet. So I'm excited to meet her. She is the vice president of sales at IQ Wired. Let's meet Miss Kelly Forsyth. Hi, Kelly. Hi. Good morning. How are you guys? <laughs> there it is. It's true. It's true. Kelly, welcome. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> Well, you're bright eye and bushy tailed for Absolutely. a Colorado 8 a.m. morning. Welcome. Monday mornings, ready to rock and roll. So let me ask you a question, Kelly. Before we get started, do you think you could pull off that the hats at the Derby? Like, are you a hat girl? Uh, absolutely. Like, really? they're fascinators, aren't they called fascinators? A big they look pretty fascinating hat. to me. I mean, you some of them are real fast. The bigger, the better. I, I would have it. Decked out, feathers, everything. You know what? As a matter of fact, I think maybe – so I don't know. Have you been to the Derby yet? I spent a lot of time at the track back in the day. My grandparents owned horses, but they ran harness racing. But yeah. I have never been to the Derby, and I'm so sad. I wish I was there this weekend with y'all. Well, I'll tell you – even though we, you've never been and we don't have any pictures of you pulling off a derby hat, we were able to come across some pictures of you in hats. So now oh let's my. see. Here's look that you pulled that's off a pretty the big hat. hat. That's right? a good yeah. hat. You pulled off that one. Yeah. I like that. Is that not as quite as big as my sombrero? But you got no, it. No. Then I think you have another hat coming up here. 
I mean, to Chuck Stink, there the cowgirl hat you pulled that yes, one off. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So the, does that parlay into the days with you and your was it grandparents and your harness racing? Here's you with no hat. Look at this. No this hat, is, but excited about momentum cornhole. I That's right. It. Momentum cornhole. Oh, and boys. not to mention Mike Hallett's face in the center. But let's take a look at this next one. I've not seen this quite yet at the Derby. <laughs> Thanks for that. Awesome. <laughs> Kelly, I think when they say you have to wear a mask, it's not that type of mask, but it's okay. <laughs> you hey, my have... five-year-old niece wanted to do facials. <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm all about decking out at the derby i've not seen that one pulled off yet but you might be able to pull that off hey if you would like me to be your chaperone um and escort you next year i would wear that just for you nice yeah. challenge sean that's a challenge. challenge we both go in face masks like you just had on right it's a thing now awesome perfect all right chuck i'm in you in in can we still wear big hats though we can wear the big hats with the mask it'll be perfect yes. And it's hopefully fantastic. by then we don't have to actually wear a mask so people can see who we are. Do we have to wear anything else or just hat and mask? Just hat and mask. <laughs> Works perfectly. All right. Kelly, listen, part of the show is we want to learn about you. I mean, okay. obviously, Chuck and I know a lot about IQ Wired. Love working with you guys. Uh, but tell us about IQ Wired. Tell us about how you got started, you and Darcy and the team, what's going on at IQ Wired. Give us some some background and update us on what what's going on out there in Colorado. We're busy. I'll tell you what, it's been uh, it's been crazy the last year, year and a half. A lot of awesome things going on. Um, I've been at IQ for just over six years now. Uh, Darcy and I had worked together um, at a CLEC previous to, to me arriving at IQ Wired. And, you know, we, I mean, why not get the band back together again and, and go be disruptive, right? Yeah. And so I, I joined the group and it's super fun. You know, we're a little different than, than others with the direct sales force, our TTSM program, and you know, really just trying to focus on helping folks, it, it, any kind of organization, ensure that we're doing what we can to, to accommodate their business initiatives and translate those into technology solutions that are going to work. And we get to meet a lot of great people. We get to do a lot of fun things. Um, you know that I, I'm scrappy. So getting to defend and protect people's initiatives and what they're trying to accomplish is certainly a really, really rewarding and, and fun thing to get to do. So out here in Colorado, we're just rocking and rolling. That's awesome. That's awesome. Fantastic. How's uh, I know you've been working with Mike Hallett for quite some time too. Mike's been with us uh, at Momentum for eight years. One of our longer tenured employees. He's a fantastic uh, uh, salesperson. How's it going with Mike? How's everything with Mike and the team? I mean, you know, the team is awesome. When it comes to Hallett, we certainly love to harass Hallett and put him through yeah all kinds of things. Um, but he still shows up. He still answers our calls. He takes the heat and the beating and comes back for more. So we couldn't be happier about that. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> challenge, Chuck. We get Mike Hallett to give, let Kelly give Mike Hallett a face mask. Face mask. Oh yes. God, yes. He doesn't know about this, by the way. Right. Mike, good morning. This is what you're waking up to. <laughs> and the one where you have to peel it off. That's right. Ooh, do his legs too, because he's he's like a he's like a wookie. He's like a wooly guy. We can video that too. Yeah. See, we did a couple go clubs with Mike, and when he took his shirt off, I was at the back. It was like, Mike, you need to nair that thing, man. <laughs> Hallett. Like, I mean, it's. I thought it was just. He us can't even defend a hard himself. <laughs> Sean, he can't even defend himself. Right. It's everybody. He has no idea this is happening. He's probably still in bed, Chuck, or getting ready. Who right. knows? He had a he had a great uh, April, so we'll see. He had a fantastic awesome. April. No, we love Hallett. He's great. He's awesome. Well, good, <laughs> Sean. Your your question. <laughs> Sean laughs I'm still about visualizing it. Mike with no shirt. Like that's the bad. That's a bad thing to be thinking about right now at this time in the morning. But I, that's where my mind went, Kelly. So working with momentum, working with Mike the providers that you guys get to work with, the favorite question we like to ask and truly for our audience and for our own team is why momentum, right? Like the times you guys work with us, bring us in, you know, the, of all the providers out there, why, why momentum? 
I mean, that's a great question, Sean. And I think a lot of it comes down to relationships um, because a lot of people can provide a lot of great services, solutions, the technology meets needs, but really who culturally aligns with us, who's really responsive, understands the way in which we go to market with our customers and how our sub agents go to market and is willing to step up, step out, you know, just be there and be as committed to what we're trying to accomplish as we are. And all of you guys at Momentum, Hallett certainly, um, Kramer, uh, you guys, it, you're, you're always willing to pick up the phone. You're always willing to get creative. You're always willing to be there and be responsive if the odd time things don't go the way we want them to. And I think when you can have that kind of relationship where we can razz each other, we can have some fun, we can drink far too much wine, um, you know, but also get things done, GSD, if you will, it makes a huge difference. Um, I, I, I would like to think, Sean, when I call you at two o'clock in the morning, you're going to be able to help. So. ESD, <laughs> get things done. I'm, I'm missing that one. Sean no, loves too. acronyms. That's a new one for you, Sean. <laughs> Write it down. Well, I mean, we could go with get stuff done. I think, you know, I have another word in there, but. Go ahead and say it. Double get dog. shit done. No. You get shit done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And that's Kelly. No, I love <laughs> You cue the circus music now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Kelly, listen. thank you very much for the partnership. We really appreciate yes. it. Uh, we, you're, we are big fans of yours and uh, really appreciate everything you've done with Momentum and continued success. Absolutely. To both well. of us, right? Here's to another great year. Absolutely. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Darcy and the IQ Wired team. Thanks for being on the show and have a great Monday. Awesome. All right, Chuck. That was fun. She's always an exciting partner and definitely full of life. Absolutely. hundred percent. It's uh, when you go out to Denver and visit them, you know, having a great uh, dinner, sitting in the conference room, talking about things we could be doing better, things that are, that are working. Um, always uh, willing to listen. And, 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 and it sounds like she agrees with the way that we're doing things as well and listening to their potential challenges with us and how we can get better. So it's, it's fantastic. Where did you say go out to where? Denver? Denver. <laughs> Where's that at? Or oh, as James Whitemore used to say, I live in Boulder. No one lives in Denver. By the way, there's another shout out. Maybe we can get nine followers this week, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, listen, I'm going to I'm going to close today's show with a little bit of an analogy. Right. So why momentum and in the spirit of what just happened this past week in the Kentucky Derby, betting on momentum is like betting in the Derby. If you want to win in the Derby. Right. You follow the bloodline of the horse. You follow the trainer. If you follow the owner or even trust the jockey and maybe even follow the results of proven races, chances are you're going to have a really good chance of success. What you don't bet on in the Derby is you don't bet on flashy silks or even who has the best name. And that's kind right. of like a, a, a parody of what's going on here, Chuck. You bet on proven success, experience, reliability, and mostly you bet on white glove. And I'm not talking about the backstable white glove. I'm talking about momentum's white glove. So betting on momentum, betting on proven success, experience, reliability, and white glove is like betting on the derby. And so that's why you bet on momentum. Trust the process. 100% Trust right, the process. Trust. How was that? Do you like that analogy? That was pretty I good. I love it. I love it. Let's see some, some comments, some likes, some shares. What do you think? We're trying to get this thing going. We're up to seven followers, I think. It's fantastic. <laughs> I just said nine. You Now we're down to seven. Oh, two people left. Kelly finished the call. She's like, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. She's done. <laughs> Happy Monday, Sean and Chuck. Go get them. <laughs> All right. Oh, listen, thanks, guys. everyone, for watching. <laughs> Everybody have a great Monday. All Happy Monday. You. See you next week down on five, Momentum Monday. Or maybe three later. Thanks, everyone. All right, Dave. <laughs>